figured I'd show you just how easy it is to use this Mark Lee Express Blue number one. Um, I really like this product so far. The good thing about this is you don't have to use a humidity box. You can take it straight from the um, application, let it sit 30 seconds, and then straight into the boiled distilled water. So, first I do thing I do is naturally going to heat up my parts. Um, these parts uh, was that little 32 that I had nickel plated. Uh, took the nickel plating off. And if you look, uh, it's getting to be a really good deep blue to it. Uh, this is the tenth coat that I'm the tenth session I'm doing with it. So <clears throat> basically, I just put it on a pan. You want to make sure you wear gloves after you do grease it. And you start off. I stripped the nickel off this one, but then I went in and um, soaked these and um, acetone. Got all my parts uh, degreased. Then I took them into the kitchen sink with a with a purple power soap. You can use any kind of uh, commercial grade soap, and just a wire brush, uh, soft bristle um, dish brush, and scrubbed on. Made sure they were totally degreased. And after that, I never handled them without having gloves on. But then basically, all you do is just pop your parts into the oven I do it for about 15 minutes on 200 degrees this is you're uh, supposed to do it between 150 to 200 degrees but I find that it works better with the parts a little bit more warm especially with my toaster oven do that I already got my water boiling and basically all you have to do with this product is just take a gun cleaning patch um, is what I like to use because it doesn't hold uh, too much solution just run a, a thin uh, run a thin pass over the parts uh, let them sit 30 seconds and then boil them um, one thing I do like to use and I stole this from another YouTube's channel I like these little tea strainers they're spring loaded Put all your little pins and springs and stuff in there. Not your springs, but your. You can put all your little pins and screws um, in here. Um, once you've wiped them down, uh, let them sit 30 seconds and then pitch it into boiling water. So that's what I'm gonna do. First thing I'm gonna do is let her heat up. First off, you start by I just use an aluminum pan. Actually, I double it up so. Uh, if there was to get a hole punched in one it still had another one to catch it I put that on high get it boiling while we're prepping our parts all right guys like I figured said I'll show you just how easy this is to use need you a little uh, solution I just use me a little measuring cup plastic just pour you a little bit in really don't need that much but a little bit of the wrong way. Uh, I use uh, got some big bag. I think I paid like 99 cent for them at a dollar store. Q-tips and for the bigger pieces that I want to put even strips on I use just clean gun patches. Don't want to handle them with my fingers. So I have the tweezers. Um, I have some uh, Black iron wire, I uh, got this from Brownells, um, more for uh, I'm going to get a tank and start doing longer barrels and stuff, receivers, and that's where this will come in handy, but uh, I have that for cutting the pieces to suspend my parts in, I just make a little hook and just drop them in the pan, I'm using a just a regular uh, aluminum pan from the store, like a baking pan. I use a soft uh, brass, I uh, couldn't find the steel. Uh, you want to use a really, really soft thing. It's like a 0 .002 or .005, something like that, so it doesn't scratch the metal. And then for carding, I have some steel wool that I soaked in acetone, made sure it was degreased. And I put all my little parts in these little uh, tea strainers. I'm going to put them in there and then I can just drop it in there and let it boil and take them out. 
that's pretty much all it is to it. Yeah. We're letting our water heat up and we'll just put a thin coat over them and boil them. Alright guys, we've got our parts straight out of the oven. They're still hot. I like to have them still hot when they come out because by the time I get around to doing the larger portions, the uh, smaller pieces are already done. But basically all you have to do, you don't want to handle your parts. You just Basically you just want to put a light coating of the chemical on there. And I'll go through there and do that with every one of the little parts. And I'll put them in these ball strainers, little T strainers. Let them sit for about 30 seconds and then I go straight into the boiling water. That's one thing I really like about this solution is you don't have to do the humidity box. That's what the Mark Lee I don't get paid for them, but from them, but uh, pretty cool product. This is the first time I've done it. And so far, it's come out pretty amazing in my book. Alright, and I'll just continue through all the parts. You can see how quickly that starts to rest. So we only need about 30 seconds, and then we can put it straight into the uh, boiling water. And the biggest thing you want is to make sure you get nice, even coats. You don't want to rub it. You just want to just a little bit of light pass over it. That's why I like using the um, gun patches for the bigger stuff because you just take a gun patch, fold it in half, and just dip it, and it's only going to pick up so much. And then you just give it a nice even coat. You don't want to rub back and forth, you just give it a nice even cut and it's still warm so this is kind of flashing off as you can tell it's kind of drying as it's going on that's how light you want to put it on just nice even coats and that's basically all it is to it you just put nice even coats and let it sit for 30 seconds you can see it's already starting to turn the metal and then you boil it all right we just set our timer for five minutes and just let it boil away basically that's all it is to it and then we'll Take them straight out of the pan. I'll take the pan out to the shop um, with the air compressor, dry everything off with uh, compressed air, and then come in and just start carding off the loose material. Uh, it's really what I was worried about is because a lot of people don't have 10, 12, 15 hours to sit down and do all this in one day. So what I would do is come home after work, I'd do a session, and then uh, card everything off roll everything back up in paper towels keep it from rusting anymore and then i would come back the next day and do another session so that's how i plan on doing it so it took nine or ten days an hour hour 15 minutes a day and was able to do it all right i'll be back after we bring them back and start carding <laughs> 